Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to properly import images from your camera. One of the problems that many new photographers have is that when they're taking their files from their camera using an SD card or going directly from the camera, they don't import it properly. And the truth is, a good digital asset manager like Adobe Bridge is important for us to organize and inventory our work in the best way. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now I've already inserted an SD card with some pictures on it and what I'm going to do is I'm in here in Bridge I'm going to do file and get photos from camera. Now you might come up into the standard dialog box uh, I tend to use the advanced one so if it comes up like this just click advanced all right then it's going to ask you what device you might have a lot you might have to refresh the list. In my case, mine's already being detected. Camera card readers right there. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to show you all the pictures and videos that are on that SD card. And it's also going to show you a lot of these other files that are metadata. And in this case, that's what all these are. Now, I'm going to leave anything else checked just because it's important to make sure you get all the files. And Adobe Bridge is going to do a good job for us. I'm also going to change some things here. On the right side, it's going to tell me that it's going to create a subfolder with today's date. And down here, it's going to rename the files. I'm going to tell it, you might come up with do not rename files. I'm going to tell it I want to rename the files. And I'm going to do custom name plus shot date. And I'm going to do it month, day, and year. Now you can tell it to start at number one and you can see a preview of what it's going to look like. Now right now this is 06 19, 13. That's because it only has the date listed which is uh, June 19th. Over here the file name originally was P128. We can't use that. So that's where we need to definitely give it a name that makes sense. Now at first here you'd think I would probably should call this flower but you know we're crazy over here and we're not gonna we're not gonna name it what you think because I want to show you how to rename them all later in another way so I'm gonna go ahead and just call this tutorial right now alright now I'm also gonna tell it to convert to DNG and what that does is it takes it from the raw file that it is this is an RW2 file which is the type of raw file that is made by a Panasonic camera and it's going to convert it to a raw file that is a, a digital negative, an Adobe DNG file. And the DNG file is much more widely accepted. And it will be used in all sorts of other applications. I'm going to click on the settings here. And I'm going to see here, make sure that it's all set. OK. And we're going to click OK. All right. Now, I can also tell it to delete the original files off the disk if I want to. Uh, it'll ask me when it's done. And then down here, under the Apply Metadata, I'm going to make sure that I have Creator James Willie and Copyright 2013. I'm going to tell it to Get Media. And what it did here is it opened up another Adobe Bridge. I don't know if you can see that, but it opened up another window of Adobe Bridge. I'm going to go ahead and just close that. And you'll see that back here in my original Adobe Bridge window, it has my My Pictures, and inside there, there's a date. I go in there, and there's all my pictures. Now, that's the quick and easy way to get your files into Bridge.